Where do you want to start? You pleased with that scrimmage? I mean, pleased with what you saw today, Ryan? You know, it was uh, it was practice six, and uh, one of the things we've been talking a lot about is competing. So you heard it over and over again, and that's what we're trying to do: is the winner or loser. Whether it was the individual drills, team drills, seven on seven, red zone pass, uh, the goal line tackle early in practice, something we really wanted. It went all the way down to the wire, 102 to 100. That's what we're trying to do. The guys were into it, and uh, we'll look at the film and see about the execution. But I thought overall the effort was was there, and the competitive nature was there. Who won the day, offense or defense? Uh, it was 102 to 100 the offense. It went all the way down to the wire. <laughs> uh, you know, even at the end there, when we go tackle, we, we do take out some guys. You didn't see Marvin down there. You didn't see a couple of those guys. But uh, it's the idea is, is the competition, and so uh, I thought that was well done. You feel like the offensive line is starting to take shape at all? I got to look to see. It's still, you know, our first two practices really don't count because they're not in pads. So when we came off of spring break, you know, we went Tuesday, Thursday, and this is Saturday, so this is really our third day. Uh, you know, I thought the defensive line got some sacks early on and kind of got after them. So I don't know. We'll have to see. I think there's, um, you know, when you say the offensive line, you're talking about all five. You know, I don't think we've quite found, oh, excuse me, all five just quite yet. And in terms of Carson has been, I mean, he was there here. Right. Months, but to be where he is, it is competing for a job. It's a it, it, there's been good progress there. I think you can see it. When you don't notice a center, that's a good thing. Um, again, still just, you know, early on, not even halfway through spring practice. But, um, but he's been a bright spot so far. Who's one guy? Who was in the front today? What have you seen from them? Uh, ah, competitiveness. Practice. Yeah, both of those guys have competed. They've shown up in practice right from the first uh, play. Brian, you talked about you had some of the veteran skill guys out there at the end. Are you, you know, again, Carnell, Jelani, guys like that? Are you just trying to see how young guys respond in moments? That's, it, that's exactly it. That's exactly it. I'm trying to create somewhat of an atmosphere that is competitive. Uh, because when you're in here and there's nobody inside, it's quiet. Uh, that's a whole different experience of being in a shoe. Not that this is the shoe, but having so many people here today, and, uh, you know, having the music loud and sort of chaotic is what we're trying to create, just to see how they respond in that moment and uh, almost get a number to it. How so crucial are the, the competitive periods in the quarterback evaluation? I mean, is it sort of a results independent evaluation happens there, or does what the team does in those periods sometimes is important as well for the quarterback? Both. Both. If you just look at one drive, you know, you can come to a conclusion real easy, but over time, and I think that's why, um, you know, we talk about these in, in the, um, you know, in the meeting room there, and we talk about, you know, where the quarterback's at. It's hard to tell until you stack these days. And so, you know, we'll grade every single snap today. We'll see how everybody graded out. But at the end of the day, you know, we have to move the, the offense into the end zone. That's our job as a quarterback. However we do that, everybody has a different style. Um, but that leadership, you know, means a lot. Now, one practice is one practice. Can you learn and grow from it? I learned just the other day that quote that you know the brain doesn't grow from success; it grows from failure. So um, you know there was a lot of failure on this field today. So who can grow from that and build? And uh, and we'll see. But but I thought you know uh, there's a lot of film to, to look at. The guys moving down the field, especially in the second half of the scrimmage. Mm -hmm. but, um, a lot of a lot of football left here this spring. Yeah, it looked like Kyle McCord came alive there the last portion of this scrimmage. Do you, do you agree? I mean, I'm not trying to get you to single them out, but uh, I, I thought he had some good plays. Yeah. Uh, I thought better in the second half, yeah. especially when we got that ball in the midfield uh, early on. Um, it was just okay, I think. But again, it's hard to tell. We've got to look at the film. But but he certainly flashed there at the end, like you said. Had some energy about him, had some leadership. And I think the, the, the whole offense was feeding off of that. It's what you and Jelani Thurman, 101. He's coming right at you. What do you do? Uh, duck. <laughs> <laughs> one, day, one day sample size, but it looks like Kenyatta was in the backfield a lot. Have you guys seen that from him more and more? Instead? We're looking for that production. I, I thought he put in a great year last year. Uh, put in a lot of work. He would go a lot against Paris, uh, especially you know in practice. And they would sit down over on the bench for hours and just talk. And I know what Paris was doing. He was taking them under his wing to talk about you know different things with offensive, defensive line play, talking technique. And so now I think you're starting to see that come of age. He had a really good off season. He put a lot of weight on. Now we're trying to see that production. And, um, it looked like he was in the backfield a lot. It's hard for the D line. That's why I try to give him the benefit of the doubt with those sacks because the quarterback's not lag because they can't really push the pocket. And Coach Johnson does a great job of that because we want to keep those guys off the quarterback. Um, but they competed today and did a good job. You love seeing that from your defensive ends, but also that's kind of a little concern from the it's offensive the same thing. tackles. How do you? Yeah. It's the same thing, yeah. It's like that all the time. You know, the minute you want to get excited about something, you turn on the other side and, and you're upset about it. Was there, yeah, was there a guy today that just flashed, though? I know you don't like the single guys out, Ryan, but uh, did anybody catch your eye like, oh, got to keep this guy in mind? Uh, Nobody just jumped out. I mean, I think there was there was some flashes, but we'll see. I, I really liked how the defensive line worked through the whole practice, though. I think Tyleek and Mike and, and all the guys up front, uh, even late into the scrimmage, were, were right in there grinding. You know, and, and Mike got through right there on that one. That, yeah. 
I know the offense didn't like the call in the sack, but he, he got through free and probably would have turned and made the tackle, but he kind of veered away from, from the quarterback. Uh, but I thought those guys grinded. I think we need to continue to see that out of the defensive line because, um, and they can flash, but you know the name of the game is continually doing it over and over and over again and building that callus up. You, you mentioned mistakes being made. It's easy to see it in the secondary, but what did you like from the way they responded to some routes they got beat, come back and make play? I thought they got their hands on some balls, especially in the third down period. Um, I think we got beat in a double move right there coming out on the 50-yard line. Um, you know, I, overall, I think the secondary has definitely challenged more uh, of the throws, and, and so that's been encouraging. Ryan, Ryan uh, Jaden Ballard, we saw him make some, you know, he's doing well for Pro Day, made a deep touchdown catch today. Just what kind of growth have you seen from him? Is he somebody who's ready to make an impact? I this think year? he has to, right? I mean, that, this, is, this is it for JB. He knows that. This is his time. Um, you know, came in with some, some really talented guys, but, but he's talented too. You can see his speed. You can see his change direction. You know, he, you know, even at the, uh, the workout the other day, I mean, he caught a lot of people's eyes. So he has the ability, and hopefully if he continues to make plays like he did today, then he can start producing for us. Are you One starting to question, feel more folks. comfortable moving around? You said that first practice, you were still getting used to it. How, are, how is that adjustment? Yeah, every day a little easier. Um, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's new uh, to me, but um, I, I like the way our coaches are coaching. I like the energy, so we've got to keep a little. You going to get a tower and a bullhorn one of these days? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Coach, thank Thanks you. Thanks for being here. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks, Ryan. I really appreciate it.